I think it's the light that first hits you about the wonderful Biltmore Estate. You are enamored with the sense of light pouring over the landscape. George Vanderbilt had the vision for creating an American mansion, fashioned after the great European chateaus and the manor houses of England. In my painting, it was the light that I focused on. I wanted to sense the drama of an evening sunset and envision the Biltmore House lit up as though for its inaugural festivities. In the foreground, we see George Vanderbilt and his wife Edith making their way to the Biltmore House, perhaps for the first time realizing what a regal accomplishment he had crafted there in North Carolina. There was a great sense that a country home became a part of the landscape. It was an architecture meant to be somehow organic despite its imposing nature. For example, many country homes featured native stone, and Biltmore House has that quality that seems to suggest it emerged from the landscape as though out of a dream. The home, though quite large, does not dominate the landscape. It sits very comfortably upon its estate. And there is a sense as you walk up to the Biltmore House that you are truly glimpsing one of the great wonders of the world. The process of detailing the structure involved handwork. Craftsmen from Europe, Italian carvers and stonemasons were brought to America and given the opportunity to work on the Biltmore House. As the construction was nearing completion, more and more details were added to the point that the home becomes almost like a sculpture in and of itself. Much of the work done on the Biltmore House simply could not be repeated today. The number of hours required for this sort of hand finishing would be prohibitive in today's economy. The home is considered the largest private residence in America. It is certainly comparable to many of the grand country homes in England. The idea of the country home was to create a retreat for the owner that also became a social center where other families of prominence would be invited to holiday upon the grounds, to stay at the house and to be part of the festivities of the estate. Parties, celebrations, dances were part of the experience of a country home. I chose the time of sunset because I wanted to get that radiant sense that the sky envelops the house and creates the sense that a moment in time is forever frozen for all to enjoy. I utilized vintage carriages to suggest a moment at the close of the 19th century when the guests, many of whom were people of great standing and social prominence, would arrive in their carriages, of course dressed in their finery. But to me, the painting all gets back to light. As you slowly dim the lights on elegant evening, the window glow begins to be more prominent and you sense the warmth within the house. The sunset colors radiate. It is as though twilight is coming. As the lights are raised on elegant evening, you once again sense that the sky is warming, perhaps suggesting sunrise. The higher light levels bring out subtlety of color and suggest the warmth of the overall palette. I create paintings that are daydreams. They are places we imagine ourselves going. I think we all get strengthened by visions that transport us to places that are peaceful and hopeful. The sense of being transported is one of the key components of the paintings I attempt to do. I like to take the imagination and bring it with me as it takes flight into new worlds, new experiences. A painting can be a good companion. It can remind us that there is beauty in this world and there are good things yet to be discovered. Very few people really have the experience of being part of an elegant evening of this sort, but all people can imagine it. And hopefully my painting, Elegant Evening, will be a key to unlocking your own fantasies and allowing you to feel the joy of celebration that 
George Vanderbilt attempted to convey through his home, the Biltmore House. Thank you.